Welcome to section 6.2, Confidence Intervals for a Mean. In this section, you're going to pre be presented ideas about finding a confidence interval for a population mean. So for example, if we took the sample mean of ages in a classroom of college students, we could use that sample mean to predict a range or interval for the population mean of all of the students at the college. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. We're going to do this not knowing the population standard deviation is not known. So with sigma unknown, we use a student t distribution. It, with the proportions, we use a z distribution. But with the means, we're going to use a t distribution. Guidelines and format. We're, first of all, we have to verify that either the sample standard deviation s or the population standard deviation is known. We're going to focus in this section not knowing the population standard deviation. The sample is random and either the population is normally distributed or n is greater than or equal to 30. Next, we're again going to identify the sample statistics n, okay, which is the sample size. So remember n is the sample size. We need to find what x bar is, which is the sample mean, kind of like our mean age of our students. And s is going to be the sample standard deviation. And remember, we can figure out the sample standard deviation of a classroom of students as well. And use the sample mean for the best point estimate. So the best point estimate is going to be the sample mean. We're going to find the critical value, z or t critical value. Well, since we're going to only know the sample standard deviation, I told you we're going to use the t critical value in this case. It corresponds to the given confidence level. So again, we're going to have a 95 or 99% confidence level and use that to calculate the margin of error. So we're going to have our best point estimate and our margin of error. We're going to use both of those to find the left and the right endpoints by combining both of the margin of error and the best point estimate to form the confidence interval. So you can see here, we're going to take the best point estimate of x bar minus the margin of error e is going to be less than the population parameter, in this case, remember, is mu, the population mean, which is less than x bar, the best point estimate, plus the margin of error e. So we're going to, instead of proportions, we're going to do these with means.